Officers and firefighters run in when we run out. Well, there are others in law enforcement who walk in very carefully as we run in the other direction. We're talking about members of the bomb squad. The recent series of package bomb explosions in Austin proves that you may never know what's on the porch. And with that in mind, Local 12's Jeff Hirsch looks at what it's like for the person inside the Kevlar suit. This was practice. This was the real thing, or could have been. Last month, the bomb squad from the Hamilton County Sheriff's Department responded to a call for a suspicious package found next to the Madeira Library. For two painstaking hours, the crew did their checks, some deputies in support, one in protective gear getting close to what could have, in theory, gone off any second. One guy goes down in a suit. And so we wondered, who would do this and what's it like in that suit? It's Kevlar. Kevlar. It's a lot like body armor, normal body armor, but a lot of it. And some ceramic plates. Actually, first thing is learn to walk, wearing 80 to 100 pounds. Walk to the top of the hill, take an x-ray, walk back down, walk back up and retrieve it. If you can't do that, you can't be a bomb tech. The sheriff's department has seven bomb techs, including the sheriff himself. Jim Neal used to head the bomb squad and is still a member, the only sheriff in the country who does this. It looked like it was interesting, it was challenging. Three members respond to call outs. They take turns in the suit depending on how long the incident lasts. He's the one that's gonna go down. He's the one who's actually gonna be at uh, the target and uh, see the device. So a lot of intel is gonna come from this man right here because he's the one that's going down. Standard procedure, x-ray the box or device. At the sheriff's range, they showed us how that works with some test materials. We're going to uh, go ahead and uh, activate the x-ray. We're going to no, take a lot no. of time looking at this. Yeah. We We're going to follow every wire as much as possible. We're going to be changing the gamma on it to bring in certain areas, zooming in on certain areas to see if all this is put together. Is it just stuff in a box? If it is just stuff, end of story. But if it's not, or if there's doubt, call in the robot which can move the device or disrupt it, as they say, so it can't explode or perhaps even blow it up. Sometimes devices are brought back for training like a simulated grenade. Deputies wrapped it in plastic explosive at the sheriff's range and... Oh, no! Oh, no! Oh, no! I was allowed to pull the switch. Three, two, one. And this is all that's left, basically nothing. The device which was exploded has been consumed, as they say, or basically vaporized. The blast pattern goes in a circle, 360 degrees. All of this from just one quarter pound of explosive. But despite the risk it seems, bomb squad members say they like being part of a tight-knit, specialized elite unit. Steve, we're not using last names for security reasons, didn't join the unit till he was almost 50. Uh, it just made it a little bit easier that my kids were older. You know, if I had, you know, babies at home might be different. But then again, uh, if I'm out running my beat tomorrow and the guy I pull over doesn't want to go back to prison and he decides he's going to try and take my life and, and, and succeeds, it's no different than for me putting the suit on and going down and dealing with the device. It turned out the box at the library was just a box someone had forgotten. But the day the bomb squad says it's just a box could be their last day. So they never say that. Just take your time. Don't rush. Be smart. It's about the guy in the green suit has to be sure he's going home that day too. Jeff Hirsch, Local 12 News. There are only 19 bomb squads in Ohio. Three are in our area, the Hamilton County Sheriff's Department, Butler County Sheriff's Department, and the Cincinnati Fire Department.